Hey guys, uh, this is Fluky here. Um, today, I have decided to make another GFX tutorial, like one of those simple ones. So I decided to do like cutting because I don't know. Recently, I've become a bit more photo manipulation based, and this is essential for your photo manipulations. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be showing how to cut out this dinosaur. Um, I'm gonna make it as quick as possible, just to show you like the basics. But and it's gonna be pretty rough. So um, if when you do it, I I expect you to do it a lot better detail. So um, the first thing you do is select the pen tool. Now there is a couple of ways you could do it. I'm gonna zoom right in. On, I'm gonna start in the bottom left. But there are a couple of ways you can do it. Now you can either go around. See, I just want his foot, so I'm just gonna do this bit. Just because it's quick. See. I just do that. So you can just do the basic outline and then go on to the add anchor point tool and you can just um, make it bendy with that and you can uh, just go perfectly around and all you have to do with that is all you have to do is drag it like that and you just go, it, sometimes it just like hooks on so uh, I think this, I personally I use this way uh, but I know a lot of other people don't um, so I'll just, I'll just show you the other way, if you want to get rid of this path you just delete it like twice like that. Um, the other way I think most people do it is they just get the pen tool, uh, click, and when you click the next one, hold and then drag until you got the the right like bend you want on it. So like this, like that, like that. I get that's how some people like to do it. Um, I'll just go down here. But um, yeah, even if you um, even if you don't like either one of the techniques, you can sometimes use either of them to like help each other technique, if that makes sense. So you can, um, I don't know, maybe add an extra anchor point, which is what the other one does. Yeah, I keep on fucking this up, so I'm just going to join it back up. Um, and then to make the selection, you just right click. Um, I don't know, depending on whether you want to or not, you can feather it, which means just soft around the edges. So you'll see if I do three and then if you go up to one of the like actual selection tools up here and then go on to like you can do that either do via cut via copy if I delete the background now you can see that it's feathered quite intensely you can see the, the edges are really really soft but if you um, right click and do it via cut oh. wait a sec sorry I'm just being an idiot so if I go onto here, go to make selection, and then go to zero, which you can do, um, and then I go up to here, onto either of these, and go on new vert layer if I cut and do that. As you can see, it's a lot, it's a lot more strong, stronger, whatever. So um, yeah, you can use any of those. Um, as you can see, I think it's is it on here. Yeah, as you can see, if you get it right, it and you get the shadow right and everything, um, it really does. Make it look good, it looks like it's real, so yeah. Um, I hope this helped, guys. Um, like and comment on whatever. Um, if you once again, if you have any suggestions, uh, just comment below saying them, or just personal message me, or if you have you on Skype, just tell me on Skype. Alright, guys, uh, I'm gonna see you in a bit, so bye.